Hey there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a half hour FaceTime reading, just like, subscribe, and comment. Blessing. So I hope everyone's doing well and vibing high this beautiful Monday morning. We are going to get a little you versus them going here. And the overall energy spirit, please, is what? Expect to see major progress coming into renew lost love, apology, forgiveness, returning on track, direct approach, making things right and regret. Oh boy. It looks to me like there's about to be some major progress in this connection, major progress in your relationship. You may want to apologize. They want to apologize. This is the connecting energy. You're both working on forgiveness or this person wants you to forgive them. They're, they're returning. There could be some closure coming for those that do not want this relationship anymore. But for a lot of you, you all have been in separation or very light contact and you both want this to get back on track. Tell me about this, please. Some of you have someone returning very, very soon within the next week or they already have returned. Others, yeah, five of cups, wow, five of swords. You all must have had a fight more recently than not in the ace of cups. You both seem to have a lot of love for one another. The connecting energy here, uh, it, it feels to me like there was some kind of disconnect between the two of you maybe not even a necessary uh breakup but just a break or you all have been really distant for some for others this person has not been in your life you may be trying to figure out if you want this back or not some of you don't even know anymore you just know that you want closure um, others, you want this person to return. They want to return. You all could be married or um, you could have been in the middle of an affair for some of you. And things got messy. They, they really want to apologize for whatever happened here. Oh boy, some of you could be in the middle of a court hearing with them. Others, this person... The cops came. You all actually had a very big fallout. There may have been something that happened um, that you're in criminal court or you all are going to divorce court or child support court, but you both want this to, uh, you don't want to do this. You don't want to have to go to court. Others, you could have been in the middle of a divorce or maybe they were and you both, the timing was just not right. Um, you know, if they had a lot going on in their life, like legal matters, and they they left your life, they want to come back and apologize. It feels, though, like there's a lot of fighting and there was a lot of bickering here towards the end. But you both love one another and you want to get this relationship back on track. Tell me how the collective's energy is towards their person, please, the person on their mind. ascending starting a new chapter and at home you long to be with this person again you feel a lot of comfort with them you could live with them or you could have lived with them but you all like i said they could have moved out you may have moved out you all are headed into a new phase you want to ascend you want to transcend obstacles it looks like you all could have bought a home or you could have been in the middle of buying a home and something happened or something like this. Some of you here, you look at this person as home. They feel like home to you. Tell me about this, please. High priest and the world, beautiful. It, I mean, the wheel of fortune, excuse me and the eight of swords in reverse you're finally coming out of a place where you're in this mental prison there are life cycle changes there are karmic cycles coming to an end you're most likely feeling that intuitively 
Some of you wanna to go to therapy. Some of you have done marriage counseling in the past or you've, you've suggested going to therapy and this person said they needed to think about it for somebody out here. For others, it looks to me like this is someone that you are married to and you wanna keep your marriage together. You wanna work on your marriage. You know this person has a lot of issues but you want to transcend the obstacles and you're hoping that you all can head into a new phase. Yeah, there's been truth. You discovered something, but you are not having this relationship if there's any strings attached, like third parties or excuses. You want a new beginning, but you don't want to do things the same as you have been. Fixed sign energy here, Taurus energy. Something could have happened back in Taurus season. This person has cheated on you or they deceived you in some way. They play mind games. You feel backstabbed by them. At some point, you feel like this person turned their back on you, acted like they were fake busy all the time. They started getting really distant or staying out of the house more and more. You feel like this person's playing mind games with you right now. Maybe they're coming in and love bombing and running right back out. Or maybe they're coming to see the kids and acting like they want to come back. But then you don't hear from them for days. For some of you, others, this person, you know they're living with someone else. You know that they're in a relationship with someone else. And you feel like backstabbed by them. You feel as if they chose someone else. And you're finally coming out of a mental prison where you can't sleep or eat or focus. You're coming to a better place with inside yourself. Some of you are in therapy yourself and you're really coming to a place where you understand what needs to change within you and within this relationship. Somebody here could live by a uh, lake or a river or, or something like that. Someone's first name could begin with a B. You may be waiting for this apology for some of you. Tell me, how does the person on the collective's mind feel, please? Fiery, hot, ooh, overwhelmed with mutual desire. This person feels like uh, this relationship was intense, that you all had a very deep sexual union. They have fantasies about you. But they definitely feel like right now it's time to heal. They seem to have called it quits. They seem to have been the one that walked away or maybe you severed ties with them and they are really feeling a lot of regret for uh, making you do that. Some of you, you found out this person was cheating for like the second or third time and you finally said enough is enough and you still haven't received an apology from them and they're coming in here with some kind of apology soon. Some of you already went through a divorce with this person and it's been a while since you have heard from them. Sagittarius energy here. Tell me why. This person's been watching. They pulled back their energy though altogether. They could have rejected you a few times. You could have asked them to come over or ask if you could talk. And they just have been very, very distant, very aloof, very disconnected, but at the same time watching you, still having sexual fantasies about you. They have a hunger to be in your energy. You could have children to them, or you could have been pregnant when you all separated, or they could have been. This person is very fearful, cancer energy. They feel like you were really giving and really loving. Some of you have just got out of child support court, and this person feels like they have to pay you a hefty amount and they've been angry and acting bitter about that. Y'all could have a dog together that you visit or they visit. For some of you, there's light bulb moments. This person is trying to figure it out. 
You could have been having a workplace affair or found out they were having a workplace affair. Some of you, that's why you split up. It was very, very painful. Or you met this person at work. They're, they feel like time's running out. They're anxious. They're just going round and round in their mind. And uh, this person is ashamed. They're anxious. Look at, look at this. Take a look at these Oracle cards. Look what they have in common. Just grabbing and hiding the fa their face. They can barely look at you. Whatever they have done here, they're embarrassed. They're embarrassed of their behavior. They're embarrassed of whatever you found out. Some of you found out this person was just full-blown lying or living some kind of double life. And it's really, really hurt you. It's really hurt and they know it. And they're just so embarrassed that they do not know what to say. Yeah, they could have gotten their self involved with the Jezebel. Some of you be careful. This person could have dark energy attached to them. They, they got their self involved with someone that manipulated them with sex. It was a karmic lesson that they failed miserably. It was a karmic lesson that you all were under. Luckily, it's coming to a close. This cycle is coming to a close so a new one can begin. What do they plan to do? What are they going to do next? They're worried. They're replaying events. They're losing sleep. They're trying to take things day by day. Some of you, this person's um, traveling right now. They're traveling for work. They could be really far away, like another country, another another state. Um, they're losing sleep over you, though. They're really worried. They keep replaying the, the last conversation you had or whatever happened. I hope you can forgive me one day. See, guys, this person wants your forgiveness. Whoever I am channeling right now, I wish I could share my good news with you. And I don't react when people mention you. I'm starting to understand this connection. This person most likely acts as if they don't care anymore. It's over. They're good. They're moving on. The thing is, is they really want to come in and apologize. But whatever they did here, it was a lot. They could have been lying and sleeping with people at work or using work as an excuse for some they, they wish that you would forgive them and they're under pressure. Some of you, this person got their self wrapped up. Tell me about Jezebel with someone that uses their sexual energy as, as a manipulation tool and they fell in hook, line and sinker. They got with someone that was very manipulative, Piscean energy here. Virgo energy, cancer energy. My good goodness, three major straight out the deck. This person is playing chess. They're figuring out their next move, but they've been just hanging here. They haven't made a move away from this Jezebel, but they seem to understand that they were manipulated in some way. Now they're a grown up, but there was something this person was doing to try to get them to choose them or to pick them. It was about winning with this person. They could have been buying them things, doing some freaky things in the bedroom. You know, I, I don't know. They were using their sexual energy, that's for sure. Th they seem to be, um, wow. Wow. They're going through an ending with this Jezebel. They're going through an ending with this karmic. A lot of you, this was a workplace affair. They started sleeping with someone at work or you have to see them at work all the time and it's been so difficult for you. They, they are going through an ending. They are trying to get a handle on their demons. For a small few of you, this person may actually have a sex addiction. They could have a Jezebel spirit. They're going through a rebirth. They're down on their knees praying. They feel like they're half dead. They truly do. They just do not feel like they, they have a clue what to do. They're just going round and round in their mind, hoping and praying that you forgive them someday. 
a lot of you, this person staying away right now because they know you're angry and they're hoping the longer time they put in the middle of it that you'll settle down and they won't have to come in and explain their self. But I think they've got their, this fucked up. I don't think you are going to just let them mosey back in without some kind of major changes or apology. Whatever they have done here was a lot. And it looks to me like eight of cups, my dog chewed the corner of this when she was a puppy, the little shit. Um, a lot of you here, this person's walking away from this third party. They, they Or they already did, but again, Virgo energy. By Virgo season, um, there could be some kind of reconciliation. This is a counterpart. This is someone that you have a soul connection with. You may run into this person at a community event, at a friend's home, at a friend's birthday party, something of the sort. For some, for others, this person wants to come in and work on your relationship, but they truly do not know if you will ever be able to forgive them. And so they, they have been under the energy of, I'm just going to stay here doing what I'm doing. They're not going to accept me back anyway kind of vibe, but they're starting to feel like uh, time's running out. And if they don't make a decision fast, that you're out that you might, they might as well not even try. Some of you, you're already long gone. You're moving on, you're dating other people and you will appreciate the closure, but you could be ascending and uh, dating other people. Some of you are, are in a relationship that you've been in now for a few months and it's going really well. What is the... What is the message we have for them today, please, about their life in general? It looks to me like they're going to come back in by mid-September with, with this apology. But, you know, it's going to be entirely up to you on what, what choice you make. They are going through an ending with this third party. But some of you, you just cannot, you can't uh, trust them. Tricky situation revealing illusions confusion careful to not trick yourself into believing things that are not true and scorpion sexual passion defensive control psychic gifts mark out your personal territory and take back the reins of your life the divine asking you to push your way forward here mark out your territory and be careful to not lie to yourself be careful to not get wrapped up in an illusion if this person is not coming back changed ready to work, ready to grow. Do not fool yourself into thinking that they will not do whatever they did here again. Because a lot of you, this is a compulsion or something that this person has got to get a handle on. And if they don't do some work and start healing, y'all could end up here again. The divine asking you to make sure you're seeing this clearly. I hope everybody has the most beautiful and blessed Monday. Love and light.